the first step in this text animation is to create some new text. So we'll go to the type tool, select the video, and we'll type out a word or phrase of your choice. Then we can just go to effect controls. We'll go to the text window and make your changes here. Now from here, you want to go back onto this toolbar and you want to go to this, the rectangle tool. And we are just going to draw a rectangle around that text. So it wants to be really tight like this. Then we'll go into shape and we're going to remove the fill and add a stroke. So increase the size of this to a desired size. And then we're just going to go in to scale and we'll just scale this up a little bit. Then feel free to move that around so that this is now centered, but you'll end up with something like this. Then if we go into the effects panel, we can search for wipe. So W I P E. Then from there, we want to drop radial wipe onto the graphic. We'll pull the transition completion all the way up to 100% and create a brand new keyframe. Then we'll go over maybe half a second, go back onto the graphic and pull the transition completion down to zero. So we end up with this. This is now animating on. Feel free to slow that down, speed that up, just increase or decrease the gap between the keyframes to do that. But once that has animated on, we can now work on the text. So this animates on and then at this point, we want to go onto the text, go down to motion, go to position and create a brand new keyframe on position. Then we'll go back in time a little bit and pull the position down. Now we'll zoom in on the timeline. We'll go to that last keyframe on position, go to opacity, free draw bezier and draw a mask around this rectangle. Then create a brand new keyframe on the mask path down here. So opacity, mask one, mask path. We'll go back to the very beginning and we're going to move that mask up back on top of the rectangle. So we end up with this. Now, when we take that back to the very beginning and we play this back, this is what we end up with. Of course, if you wanted to, you could separate the text layers. So at the moment, this is coming up as one. But if I go onto that text layer, I delete the last three characters and I just keep it as a single character. Now, from here, we're going to go up into the vector motion and move the position over to the left. The reason why I'm doing it in vector motion is because it will not affect the keyframes that we just created. Now we can make a copy of this. We'll change the character, change the letter and move the vector motion over to the right. Create a delay of two or three frames and we end up with this. So just repeat again, delay. Change the character to the next character. Vector motion to the right and one more time. Great. Now when we play this back, this is how this looks.